Today I'm going to teach you hands-only CPR. If you come upon a victim who is unconscious, you first want to see if they're arousable. Are you okay? Are you okay? If they're not arousable, you'd like to send somebody to call 911 immediately and grab an automated external defibrillator if one is available. Immediately after doing those two steps, you want to start hands-only CPR. What we do is we find the line of the nipples and the sternum in between that line. Once we find that, we put the heel of our palm on the spot with our other heel on top. I like to lock my fingers. I want to keep my arms straight as I push hard and fast. For an adult, the recommendation is about 100 beat pushes per minute. That would coincide with the song like Staying Alive or Baby Shark. As you push, you want to ensure that the chest recoils, meaning you allow it to release so that the blood can circulate. You continue this motion until someone else comes to help you or you have an automated external defibrillator or the medics arrive. When performing hands-only CPR on an infant, there isn't much difference between a child and an adult. We again want to have someone call 911 and obtain an automated external defibrillator if one is available, and then we want to start hands-only CPR. Again, we find the mid-nipple line on the sternum, the breastbone. The difference between kids and adults is that we're going to only use two fingers to push hard and fast. In a child, we'll push a little bit faster, about 120 beats per minute, remembering to allow the chest to recoil. Another method, if the child is small enough or an infant, you can wrap your arms around the back to stabilize the back and put your thumbs on that sternal position and push hard and fast. Doing CPR in a uh, bystander survival situation can save a life. I hope you'll join us in doing that.